Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. In the words of researchers who published a groundbreaking study about vitamin B12 in Alzheimer's disease in the September issue of the journal Cell Reports, they quote, Alzheimer's disease is a devastating neurodegenerative disorder with no effective treatment. Diet as a modifiable risk factor for Alzheimer's disease could potentially be targeted to slow disease onset and progression. In this published paper, these researchers went on to show that in an experimental model, vitamin B12 supplementation was able to prevent Alzheimer's disease and interrupt key biological processes known to contribute to its development on a cellular level. So in this model, it was shown that vitamin B12's ability to recycle homocysteine back to methionine was a key factor in preventing Alzheimer's disease. So in line with this finding, various studies have shown that higher blood levels of the damaging chemical known as homocysteine are associated with an increased risk for developing Alzheimer's disease in human studies. So our bodies require vitamin B12 to recycle homocysteine back to another amino acid called methionine, which helps to prevent homocysteine buildup. So this study builds on a report published on WebMD on October 18, 2010, which stated that vitamin B12 may help to protect the brain against Alzheimer's disease according to recent studies. They go on to cite research from a seven-year Finnish study, which followed 271 individuals ages 65 to 79 years old, who did not have any symptoms of Alzheimer's disease at the beginning of the study. The study uh, published in the journal Neurology showed that for every picomole increase in blood vitamin B12 level, there was an associated 2% reduction in the risk of Alzheimer's disease in this older population. So every time B12 was a little, every, for every sort of uh, unit higher B12 went on in terms of blood value, <clears throat> there was a reduction of 2% risk in Alzheimer's disease. At the same time, each one micromolar increase in homocysteine in the blood increased the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 16% in the same population. So every time your homocysteine level goes up by just one point on that blood level, your risk of Alzheimer's disease increases 16% according to this uh, publication. In other words, the lower the blood of vitamin B12 level and the higher the homocysteine level, the greater was the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Conversely, the higher the vitamin B12 blood level and the lower the homocysteine blood level, it translated into a significantly lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Because vitamin B12 is required to keep homocysteine levels lower in a safer range, and that is having a homocysteine level below 7.2 micromoles per liter, that's a safe range, all of this makes sense from a standpoint of cell biology. You should also know that vitamin B12 is also required to make neurotransmitters in the brain that are required for normal healthy cognition and normal brain functioning. Many studies have shown that providing vitamin B12 supplementation to patients with depression or decreased cognition when their B12 levels were low often helps to resolve these problems, sometimes resolves it completely. But we're now seeing increasing evidence that adequate vitamin B12 levels are also required to block steps in Alzheimer's disease development. What's alarming is that vitamin B12 deficiency is very common as people get older, occurring in more than 20% of individuals over the age of 65 years of age. Now this is due to various factors, um, such as decreased secretion of stomach acid as people age, which results in decreased vitamin B12 absorption. So as you get older, your stomach makes less hydrochloric acid, which indirectly is required to increase vitamin B12 absorption into the bloodstream. With less stomach acid, you absorb less B12 that you're ingesting. Another cause of B12 deficiency is the common use of antacids like Tums and Rolaids, proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and Los like Losec, and also histamine, histamine blockers such as ranitidine, which is sort of another drug, or all these drugs are really prescribed for indigestion problems, but they can uh, easily lead to a B12 deficiency because they block the amount of stomach acid available. As well, many people change their diet as they get older, consuming fewer foods that contain vitamin B12, uh, mostly provided to the human body by, by meat and poultry and fish. A lot of people start eating fewer of those sort of flesh-type proteins as they get older. It's noteworthy that other B vitamins are also required to recycle homocysteine back to methionine 
or to another desirable amino acid known as cystothionine, from which the body can make cysteine and the all-important antioxidant and detoxifying peptide known as glutathione. So the B vitamins that work together to recycle homocysteine back to these more desirable amino acids like methionine and cysteine and glutathione, and thus lower homocysteine levels, include vitamin B12, folic acid, and vitamin B6. They, all, they work synergistically to keep homocysteine levels low and to increase the synthesis of these more desirable amino acids and antioxidants. This is one more reason why I think most people would benefit from taking a B50 complex five to seven times per week throughout all of adult life. I get my, 50, my B50 complex as part of an all-in-one high-potency multiple vitamin and mineral supplement that also provides boosted levels of key antioxidants uh, like vitamin C and vitamin E, which help to decrease free radical damage to the body and to the brain, which may also help to slow age-related decline in brain function, something that you might also want to consider. So I provided the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.